So guys, today I bring you 5 amazing glitches, tips, tricks, exploits you can use within Dead Island 2 as a solo player. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So we know there's a few you can do within co-op, but today guys we will look at what can be done solo. Okay, so let's start. We're going to start with the solo duplication glitch. Check this out. Okay, so there's a few drawbacks to this. I mean, obviously, you want to do a duplication glitch so you can make money out of this. Doing it with legendaries just won't work because you can't sell them. Names, weapons at the same time, weapons like Peggy, uh, things like this, you can't sell. So there's no point in doing that with this. Also, guys, when it comes to doing this, you can only hold one weapon on you at the time. So you can see I've got multiple other ones here. If I pick more than one of these up, one will vanish. So it's pretty pointless in that way. So if you want to store multiple of the same weapon, it won't work. But in regards to selling them, it does work. So a quick little edit. Just realized you can actually pick up and store. So as you can see here, guys, I've got a one in my vault. This is actually something I should have tested before, but I didn't even think about it. I've got one there and I've also picked up one. So you can hold more than one of the same weapon as long as one is in your vault. So if you say have, I don't know what would happen if I try and put this in my vault though. Oh, so you can store more than one of the same weapon as well inside of your vault, just not on your persons. Let's try this. It's gone back into your inventory. As you can see, see it disappeared. That's what I was meaning. So you can put um, them in your vault at the same time. But you cannot put them on your persons at the same time. One will vanish. So yes, you can have one in your vault or even two in your vault, probably three or four in your vault. But you can only have one on your said person. So drop a weapon on the floor, any weapon you want on the floor. Um, then make sure your inventory is full. So as you can see right here, guys, my inventory is full. But the weapon I want to duplicate is on the floor. So drop the weapon you want on the floor. Go back to your vault. Grab another weapon. Make sure your inventory is full. Then guys, you need to have a few more. As you can see, I've got a top bar completely full, a few more top left. To help you here, guys, you can probably use this one here, short fuse. Uh, forget to count to 10, only three mode anytime once your few meter is more than half full. Quite cool. Also, guys, you need to have this equipped, the dodge. Uh, because sometimes a bug can happen. And to get out of that bug, you need to dodge. So yes, use this. There's another way out of dodge, which I'll explain in a second, because it's probably going to happen to me here. Okay, so with the weapon on the floor, with a full inventory, simply activate that few mode and go pick up the weapon. Then jump out that few mode. As you see guys, I then have multiple of the same weapon. Now I've got the bug. I can't shoot, I can't run, I can't throw a curveball, I can't activate my few mode, but if you dodge, you come out of it. Simple as that. And the way to come out of it guys, if you don't have that dodge, is to simply drop any other weapon on the floor and then quickly pick it back up. And that, that brings you out of it as well. So again, guys, activate Fury Mode, grab weapon, duplicate. Simple. I got the bug again. Dodge. There you go. Activate Fury Mode, pick up the weapon, come out of Fury Mode, dodge. Now, as you can see here, my Fury Mode is, well, I ain't got enough to activate it no more. So what you could do now, guys, is go out and kill zombies. Mean Tom zombies. Get your Fury Mode back. Another warning. If you die, these weapons will disappear. So do not die. If you've got a ranged weapon, take them out from afar. If you're confident in your slaying of zombie skills, take them out. But if you die, these will disappear. Now, when it comes to selling them, people, you need to do, like I said, only pick up one at a time. So drop another weapon, pick one up. Cremator hunting rifle. And it's probably, it's probably wise to do this next to a vendor as well. I'm right near Emma's mansion in... Uh, Bel Air, and there's a Carlos is right by the back door, so yeah, easy guys. Now, sometimes people, sometimes you can check your inventory and a weapon has vanished. Now, I've had this once in about an hour of testing. If that happens, you can just simply quit the game out. Go to Xbox, go to that, and quit the game out. When you come back, your weapon should be back in your inventory. Yeah, that's really it, guys. That is the duplication glitch. It's that simple. Next up guys, we have three AFK XP farms. What's best about these is they can be done while you go to school, work, go out with friends, whatever. If you want to level a new character, get them to max level before you storm through the game story, you can do that too. You will 
do what you gotta do, return and earn an absolute ton of XP, as well as whatever else zombies drop. So the first two are different methods within the same spot, and this takes place within the clickbait mission real early on. Now obviously, if you have progressed past this part, you won't be able to use it. But keep in mind, if you do create another character like I said earlier on in the video, this would be absolutely amazing for that. I also have a great XP farm, which I'll showcase to you guys later on in the video. It works absolutely great. You earn tons of XP, tons of loot, but it isn't AFK. It's actually quite fun doing it. Okay, so this clickbait mission is real early on. It's a side mission that becomes available after you get back from your first visit to Halperin Hotel, this area. The second area you actually visit outside of Bel Air. So yes, as soon as you get back to uh, Bel Air from the Help Area Hotel, this, uh, this side mission will be available for you to jump into. Okay, so to do this AFK glitch, it's actually very, very easy. Now I've seen a few people cover this mentioning, say struggle to get into the place where this AFK uh, glitch works best. But with my method, it really couldn't be any easier. Okay, so the clickbait mission is seen right here on the map. Come here, guys. And before you actually start the mission by talking to Amanda, you may want to practice getting into the perfect spot before starting the mission and having them unlimited zombies spawn in and you earn tons of AFK uh, XP. Okay, so do as I do on screen now, guys. And it's quite, quite easy. It really is. Now, to do this perfectly, you will need to have that flying kick and that dash strike in your skills selected. And by this stage in the game, guys, you should have these anyway. They're both real early on unlocks, especially the jump kick. So to get into this AFK spot, you actually need to get onto that umbrella. Do exactly as I do and it'll be real easy for you. But again, I insist on you having a practice try first. So standing next to this corner of this glass railing, simply jump up onto that glass railing. Then guys, move slightly forward, turn and face this gas lamp. Then all you have to do is simply jump on the spot and press that fly kick button. Yeah, you should land perfectly on that gas lamp. Then guys, turn and face this spotlight holder thingy. Again, do the same thing. Just jump and press that fly kick button. Now, as quickly as you can, as soon as you land on this spotlight thing, face the umbrella and press that dash strike combo of buttons. On the Xbox, it's both bumpers. And there you have it guys, as easy as that. So once you've got this down of getting onto this umbrella, simply start this side mission by talking to Amanda, and then you have to go and activate that music to draw in those zombies. Now from here, to give yourself a little free time in getting up into that right spot onto that umbrella, use the meat bait curveball and draw those zombies away from you. Now once you are up here guys, you are good to use this and abuse this spot for as long as you like. Now the XP gains ain't the quickest, hence this is best done while AFK and you're doing other things in your life. Now sometimes some of the runner zombies will just stand there, uh, but another meat bait thrown to draw them in should work. But all of the zombies under my testing will forever run into the fire uh, and you'll earn infinite amounts of XP as long as you stay on this spot. Now another method in abusing this spot requires you to have that block skill. Now the block skill is unlocked at level 9. Now this is basically the same kind of thing, just no jumps. All you want to do guys is break all the glass behind this chair, start the mission, activate that music and run, crouch behind this chair and hold that block button in. Here you should be able to earn great XP while going AFK. Now if you do plan on going AFK using this method, you will need means of keeping that block button pressed. So an elastic band on your controller or even a bit of tape might work. Now we break the glass because sometimes runners will come over the chair and if you break the glass they'll just fall down behind. It really is that simple. But as long as you are blocking here guys, uh, zombies won't hurt you. Now sometimes they will stand in the fire taking shots at you but because you're blocking you won't take any damage. So it's a great, great AFK farm glitch. Okay, so the next AFK farm is an, a lot, lot easier to do. It requires no jumping or blocking. And it's actually uh, one story mission after this point and you're returning back to Bel Air from the Helper and Hotel. So this one takes part within the Oh Michael, Where Art Thou mission. This is the main mission you'll get to upon you first getting to Beverly Hills when you're in search of Michael. 
So here guys, you will first go to Michael's house and you have to investigate a few things. But your next step from this point will be go and find Jesse Kwan, which will bring you to this house where you will meet Ricky at his door in his woman's underwear. Crazy ass man. Here, he asks you to show his front and back gates. And well, this is where the party starts for the AFKXP. So as soon as this starts guys, this mission starts, a garage behind you will open up, revealing a workbench as well as zombies. Here I recommend you taking them all out, but at least take out the crusher anyway as he can cause problems. Then guys go towards the back gate and you will notice fuel is flowing out of this container. You can either strike the floor to get that fire to start or throw a weapon at that gas canister, it will explode and create fire. From here guys, there's infinite fire here. And all you need to do guys is jump into this container in the middle of this swimming pool. Now the pool is riddled with electricity, but because you're on this box, it won't affect you. Short tip, do not crouch, otherwise it will. Now with you on this box, protected by electrified water, you'll just stand there looking at the back gate and you'll see an infinite amount of zombies will walk through that back gate burn into death and earn you infinite amounts of XP. Now there's sometimes a few stragglers that walk through those burning zombies, obviously not affected by that fire. These guys walk into the swimming pool, get electrocuted and then die. It really is that simple. I tested this, I sat here for literally about an hour and I earned tons of XP and it's absolutely great. Now obviously you doing this means many many zombies will die. This means loads of cash and loads of loot. A quick tip though, to pick up that cash before you reset this farm, you want to do this before you reset the farm because the cash otherwise disappears. So for instance, if you run away from the area and the mission resets, count down from 10, when you come back, that cash will have despawned. So make sure you pick up the cash before you reset the mission. Everything else stays here like weapons and little treats that replenish your health, like energy drinks and protein bars and things like this. These will stay here, but cash will reset. And again, to simply reset the farm, it's just run away from the actual mission for about 10 seconds. You'll see a countdown and you're good to go, guys. You can then simply come back here if you want to rinse and repeat this at a later date. It's one of those ones you can use in your spare time to level up an alt character. For instance, if you create a second character or third character or fourth character, when you do go AFK, jump off your main, jump onto your new character, come here and just leave them to gain XP. It's quite simple and it makes sense in doing that. Okay, so lastly guys, we have a great XP and money making method. This isn't AFK, but it is a fun, fun one. Do check it out. So this solo money making method as well as XP farm can be done in co-op too. If you want to do this with your friends, it's up to you, but it works just as great solo. And all you need is a little progression in the game and a weapon you're comfortable using. That's it. So to do this, you need to progress past the Quan with the wind mission within Beverly Hills. So it is real early stages too. Once you have, I'd recommend you putting your weapons that you don't need in your vault and only bring in a weapon or two that you're comfortable using because you're going to be farming zombies and lots of them. So in Beverly Hills, you want to come to this point on the map. From here, guys, you want to hit this gas truck, drop kick this police car, and then come down this hill slightly and then hit this car too. Now, if you've gone further enough into the game and you've unlocked those screamer zombies, you've experienced a screamer zombie and you've killed it, you've unlocked them across the board. Also, go up the hill too. Let this screamer see you. When she screams, she brings even more zombies out to play. That's if you haven't killed her previously. If you have, she probably won't be here. But just double check anyway. But yes, triggering those three alarms, setting off this screamer, means that these zombies will spawn in and absolutely tons of them. Now, when you have taken out all of these zombies, rinse and repeat the process of setting off them alarms, and you have a constant supply of infinite zombies. Now, these zombies not only drop loads of cash, which you can pick up by just running over those wallets, but they also drop weapons too, that you can sell for easy and fast money. I did this literally for 10 to 15 minutes, and I earned hundreds of thousands. So yes, it's amazing. It also, guys, it doesn't matter if you die because you'll spawn literally right here. The weapons will still be on the floor waiting for you. Now, it does sometimes seem that weapons do disappear off the floor, but don't worry, you haven't lost them. 
So when you are done, bored or think you have enough money, collect the loot and you are good. Don't worry about the weapons you can't pick up due to your inventory being full because they will go to your unclaimed property section of your vault. Same with the weapons you think have disappeared. So from here, come to your Beverly Hills safe house, right here on the map. Then simply sell your weapons to this vendor. Once you've done, grab the ones out of your vault and sell them too. And we'll do this until you have as much money as you need. If you have the option to apply certain mods to your weapons also, I'd recommend you using ones that cause the area of effect damage. This means you can take out multiple zombies at the same time, making it easier and faster for you. Also those curveballs, make use of them. But yeah guys, a simple way to earn absolutely tons of money and great XP as a solo player. And there we have it guys. Five amazing solo exploits you can use and abuse within Dead Island 2. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.